very familiar scripture. Most of us know this story by heart. <coughs> Matthew chapter 14. You there say amen. Amen. Start reading to verse 22. And straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side, while he sent the multitudes away. When he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. When the evening, evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit. And they cried out for fear. But straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bids me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind, boisterous, he was afraid and beginning to sink. He cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and called him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And when they were come into the ship, the wind ceased. Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying, Of a truth, thou art the Son of God. Lord, we love you. God, we come to you in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray right now, Lord, you help us. I pray that you just help us, Lord, to be able to preach this in a way. God, that you'll be pleased. Lord, I pray right now, Lord, you just let the Holy Spirit move through the church. God, I pray, God, that you would do a work that I can't do within myself, God. I thank you, God, for what you've already done. Lord, speak into hearts, Lord. And God, if everybody in this church would have been honest, God, we'd probably all, all already been on the altar. Had taken care of needs today. God, I pray right now, Lord, you'd help us. God, move me out of the way. And whatever's done, we'll praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. You may be seated. I want to preach a little while on this thought. What they saw from the book. What they saw from the boat. And the question today is, what will you see from the boat? See, me in this story, the Bible tells us that the disciples got into a ship. Jesus sent them over to the other side of the building. And as they were going over to the other side, a storm hit. Not just any kind of storm, but a, a, a terrible storm. The Bible talks about how they were, they were I can see it, Jeff, they were rowing. And, and I, I love that scene in the Easter play where those guys are up there and all that. They're, they're, they're just fighting with everything they got just trying to make it to the other side. And Jesus comes walking to the water, on the water to them. He gets close and they're scared, Brother Tony. And they look out and they say, it's the Spirit. And Jesus speaks to them and says, be not afraid in his eyes. And Peter says, Lord, if it's you, bid me to come unto thee. And Jesus said, come on. And Peter gets out of the boat. Come on, friend. What will you see from the boat? What will you see by not getting out there and doing what the Lord told you to do? Number one, don't you notice number one, what the first thing they saw from the boat now. Y'all get y'all keep y'all stay with me. From the boat. There's a lot of things you can see from the boat. But I'm just gonna be I'm gonna be honest with you. I ain't never been one of them that like to stay in the boat. Hey Amen. I, I, if we play in ball, I don't like sitting on the bench, glory to God. If we in a worship service, I don't want to be the one sitting on my hands. I want to be the one out there. I want to be the one in the midst of it. Amen. So, number one, check in what they saw from the boat. They saw faith in action. They saw a man that was in the boat with him, Brother Tony. And I'm talking about a storm. I mean rain falling, wind blowing, lightning and thunder. They saw a man take, it, take a hold of what Jesus had said and use his faith and step out of the boat. They saw faith in action. They saw the same one that they, that they, that they had been with. They saw the same one that they had ate with. They saw the same one that they had walked with. Start walking on the water. They were in the, they in the boat now. In the boat, they saw faith in action. Skip, they saw Peter do something that they will never do. They saw Peter do something that only one other man alive has ever done. That's Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. They saw Peter use his faith from the boat. Wonder what they thought, Brother Billy, from the boat. You see that? Can you believe that? I am not believing Peter is walking on that water. Why, why didn't you get out of the boat, John? Why didn't you get out of the boat, James? Why didn't you get out of the boat, Martha? Because we all scared. Oh, well, most people, most people, let's just be honest, want to stay in the boat. Oh, you just have to come into church. You just have to be in church. You just have to be watching somebody else do it. But if that's your attitude, you go ahead and stay right there. I want to be the one that gets out of the boat. I want to be the one that prays. I want to be the one that, that get on my knees and talk to God. And God show up in my life. I want that. I want everybody else talking about my faith. Instead of me talking about theirs. That's the way we ought to live our Christian life. But well, every once in a while you ought to want to get out of the boat, glory to God. Amen. It's all faith in action. I'm going to show you something else what they saw from the boat. They saw a failure. Peter's out there walking on the water. Peter's doing something ain't nobody else but Jesus ever done. And Peter gets his eyes off of Jesus. And the Bible says, Brother Johnny, that he saw the wind boisterous. Peter took his eyes off of Jesus and began to sing. See, unless you are willing to make a failure out of it, you'll never do anything for Jesus. Listen. Ronya already opened it up this morning. She already told you what she's been facing. I knew, I know she's been facing this. I've been praying for her. But listen, it take, when you when you fight something like that, it takes it takes a little bit of gumption on the inside to say, "Well, I'm gonna get up and try and sing." Amen. Amen. Even that, I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. I was standing at the back trying to get all this your apparatus on, and I heard I heard Ronya talking, and it, to me, it sounded like she had a frog in her throat. Right. I, amen. But at least she was willing to get up and try. Glory to God. Amen. At least she was willing to get up. I'm going to give it a go. I'm telling you right now. We need some folks that are saying and get our minds made up. I'm going to give it a go for Jesus. But I don't know if I want to sing in the choir. Well, you ain't going to never know until you try. I don't know if I want to join the church. Well, why don't you just go ahead and join? Hey, just because you got hurt in the past, don't mean you're going to get hurt this time. Glory to God. Why don't we go ahead and make up our minds? I'm going to be in there. I'm going to still doing it. I'm getting out of the boat. They can laugh at me if they want to. They can talk about me if they want to. I really don't care. Just stay in the boat all you want to. I'm not afraid to fall for Jesus. Yeah, he failed. But he did walk on the water. Don't you forget that. <laughs> I don't know if I can preach. How many times did the devil tell me that? I don't know. I, 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 you, 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 you will make a fool out of yourself. You will make a fool out of yourself. You better not quit the highway patrol. That's a steady income. You better not do that. You'll, you'll starve to death. You got two little children that you got to feed. You got to protect your wife. God's, you, you, God's already set you up right here at the White Savannah. And this is where God wants you to stay. He wants you to serve on this deacon board. Teach Sunday school every once in a while. But no, God was telling me to get out of the boat. Glory to God. And I'm telling you right now, if you ain't all in, you ain't there at all. If you ain't gonna be all in, you ain't dead at all. Brother Barry said something in Sunday school this morning. He said, if you got a split personality, you better get the other half saved too, glory to God.
God. Let me have Well, I know you've got, you've probably been perfect since you got saved, don't you? Let me find somebody. Really, you've probably been perfect since you got saved, don't you? What's wrong with y'all? <laughs> Brother Bill, you've been perfect since you got saved. Y'all see a pattern, folks, don't you? Ain't nobody perfect. We go all fail. I'd rather fail. Brother Wayne, I'd rather fail outside the boat, glory to God, than fail inside the boat. Not at least outside the boat. I'm where Jesus is. Amen. They saw faith in action. They saw a failure. But they also saw forgiveness. Peter walking on the water takes his eyes off of Jesus. And, he, and the Bible says, and immediately he began to sink. And he cried out, Lord, save me. And the Bible says, immediately. I like that word, immediately. That, that means it, it, in the blink of an eye, glory to God. It didn't take long for Jesus to get there. You understand something? You might have failed today. You might have fallen today. All you got to do is make your way out of this hour. And immediately, the blood can be over your sin. Immediately. In the boat. Amen. What you gonna see in the boat? See, the problem is sometimes we get scared, sometimes we get timid, sometimes we we're afraid to do things. We're afraid to get out of our comfort zone. Listen. Ron, you could have stayed home today. It's real easy. It's real easy when things start happening in your life to enclose yourself in your little place. Real easy to do that. Everybody can do that. It's real easy when the storm's going on to sit down on the side of the boat and hang on with everything you've got. Real easy to do that. Real easy to grab a hold of something and say, I'm tying myself down in the boat. <clears throat> but what about when Jesus comes by and says, why don't you just come to me? Why don't you just come to me? Ain't that what he told Peter? Come. Why don't you just come to him today? Instead of staying in your boat, Instead of staying in your little comfort zone, why don't you go ahead and make your mind up? Listen, I know I've been hurt before, but I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna be all in. I know, I know, I, I, I made a mess before, but I'm gonna be all in. I know, I know that I got hurt before at that other church I was going to, but I'm not gonna worry about it now. That was ten years ago. That was twenty years ago. That was thirty years ago. I've been coming to Liberty. I'm gonna be all in. I'm just gonna go ahead and join the church. I'm just gonna go ahead and sing in the choir. I'm just gonna go ahead and do what God's telling. I'm just going to go ahead and teach Sunday school. I'm just going to go ahead and preach the Word. If God's telling me to do it, He said, come. Amen. Amen. Are you going to wait just to see what you can see from the end of the book? Life's a whole, well, baby, life's a whole lot simpler in the book. But I'd rather have the blessings of God on my life That's right. than stay in the boat all my life. Can you go to heaven from in the boat? Probably. I, these disciples, they, you know, as far as I know, they, they were good men. They, they loved the Lord with all their heart. It's one thing to love the Lord with all your heart, but it's another thing to trust the Lord. It's one thing to stay in the book and say, Hey, Jesus, I love you. It's another thing to get out and go to it. Amen. Come. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you peace. Amen. Come unto me, whatever problem you got. Come unto me and get out your comfort zone. Listen, I, I, Brother Johnny got here this morning. He didn't know he was leaving the choir. He could have said, I ain't ready. I, 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 I ain't ready. But 
choir did great. Amen. Well, because of what Johnny did, because God, Johnny let Jesus work through him. That's right. Amen. Sometimes you need to put your fear aside. Amen. You say, I'm getting out of this boat, and I'm going to where Jesus wants me to be. Amen. I might fail. When I got saved, glory to God. I'm just going to use this analogy. When I got saved, glory to God, I got out the center boat. Amen. And I started walking to where Jesus wanted me to be. That place is heaven. I have failed many, many, many times since then. I, Jesus has had to come by and pick me up and pick me up and pick me up. I, sometimes I believe about Tony. Jesus has got a life preserver with my name on it. He says, you need to wear this right here because you've been an idiot most of your life. And I'm telling you right now, he ain't give up on me, glory to God. Every time I start singing, he shows up immediately. First of all, when I say we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us for our sin and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's because you got to get out the boat. Amen. And try Listen, I stayed on Candace for probably a year before she ever got before she ever sang in church. Now she won't shut up. <laughs> she does great. She, and look what God's doing. Amen. God can get out the boat. God's been talking to some of y'all. God's been telling you. He wants you to do something. He wants you to do something. The thing about it is, if you don't do it, he'll find somebody else that will. And you're going to lose the blessing. Because you stayed in the boat. What they saw from the boat. I can remember spiritually in my lifetime. When it come my time, Brother John. And Jesus said, come on to me. And it's time to get out of the boat. Preacher Buddy C. preached a message one time to Mike Savannah. He talked about how as long as you can touch the bottom, you ain't walking in faith. Some of y'all need to get out of that ankle deep water. Some of y'all need to get out of that chest deep water. Wait on out into where Jesus wants you to be. Because if you can touch the bottom, it ain't faith. He said, Preacher, I can't swim. I got a, I got a captain that walks on the water. You worried about swimming. You just do what he said, do you? Amen. Can you come back and sing that last song again? Do it by your head. <laughs> Maybe some of us in here today is just like Mary and Martha. You doubt. You wonder. But I'm telling you right now. God's been good to all of us. God's been good in my life. Why has God been good in my life? Because I was able to get out the book. Maybe you're here and you're just like the disciples. Maybe you, you've just been staying in your little spot. But if you want God to be real good in your life, you have to get out the boat. God, we love you. Lord, I pray.